Hello everyone, I am here again with this new effect, the hit effect and you can see this effect in ground and I have also placed in air so you can see the whole effect how this spiral goes okay so today I will show you the breakdown of this effect it is similar to the laser that I have earlier created you can see some of the elements in that tutorial okay so just let's check it out so this is the particle system and I play first is this lightning I have used mesh for this if you see a uh, lightning mesh that I have created in Maya and I'll show you mesh in Maya first I'll show you another lightning this is spiral lightning and the mesh is something like this and now I will show you in Maya both mesh here this one and this one ok so I just created here these meshes and exported to Unreal Engine and this one is just scaling from here to hit position and this one is just rotating and scaling down ok it has mesh rotation rate and it's scaling down then third one is my shock wave a planar although you can use billboard I use planar that's very simple material in texture then it has also light then HUD it's also a mesh and it's rotating and I use this material in texture I have this texture and I have these in separate channels like in blue you have this pattern in grey you have this and in red you have this so I just use it in and rotate it all channels then use it here then another channel I use in this one another channel I use in this one so this is how you can use each channel now in this HUD the shockwave texture is distorting because of the noise texture in under material and you can see I have distorting the UVs of this texture you can see here shockwave this texture is UV from this noise and handling this in dynamic parameter here you can see distort ok I accidentally closed my window so shock ok this was my plasma now this is sphere and you can see it's black then it turns the glowy edges so how I did this is use simple mesh sphere then in material I use a LERP and a freshener freshener I use in alpha and in B I use the noise texture so basically 
when an exponent of power is controlling by dynamic parameter so when i increase dynamic parameter or decrease it will affect the freshness you can see now the whole sphere is noisy if i increase it only the edges are noisy you can see here if i decrease you can see here so this node i am controlling here in dynamic parameter so i am animating it through keys and edge turn glowing now the second sphere this is the same but in this is sphere the base is not black the base is transparent but the whole idea and the material are same okay and then this rings i use the cylindrical shape mesh for this you can see here and they are rotating random rotation and scaling out for this material i used this i used this mask because i wanted my glow only on edges you can see here and you can see here glow are only on edges so i used this mask and is panning then this laser i used this mesh for this okay there are planers cross shape and a texture panning on this mesh you can see a noise texture is panning very simple material actually so laser particle these are i use radial gradient very simple around shape material and the particles are velocity aligned so they are stretching you can see on y axis they are stretching and emitting from a sphere you can see then laser particles same thing just the color and intensity of color is different same particles then fire this fire is emit on target and i have used delay when it hits in 1 second after 1 second delay the fire emits it also has light and this is my texture okay texture is a beauty then same fire just a blue color nothing new then some sparks from the target it radial ramp i used for the sparks it has also light they goes up with velocity then they goes down because of gravity and acceleration emitting from a sphere then a sphere at the target same sphere that is hitting but the color is red because it's emitting fire some sparks that is emitting on like a v shape because here i use this lightning you can see this goes and on the edge where it's colliding the ground i used this particle system it has also lights so let's check it in viewport one by one first this lightning single lightning then second lightning that is spiral you see then a shock wave just scaling and rotating 
then uh, HUD shape that is rotating then another HUD shape that is rotating opposite and a blue color one more then HUD that is eroding look like plasma then a sphere that as it's turned glowing because of material and then a parameter then a, again a sphere you can see here a blue sphere the same properties that this sphere has that the base color is not black base is transparent then a ring okay. then a laser you can see here a texture panning on a mesh the laser particles more laser particles then fire on the heat area then some blue fire with it some sparks coming from fire and a sphere that turns red when got hit then sparks are lying to the spiral lightning then second sparks that's making a shape of V and aligned to the spiral so overall this was the effect so I use lots of mesh for this to lightning mesh one is straight one is spiral then a mesh for this panning texture then spares and some mesh for these things so overall this was the effect I hope you liked it and you learned something new in this video. If you have any suggest comment below in the video and subscribe my channel, share my video, like, keep supporting, keep learning. Bye.